Hi, welcome to the first episode of AI for Business. Here we discuss the latest advancements in this exciting field and uh, how they can be applied in your business case. Today we're lucky to have a really special guest with us, Alexander Kroshin, an expert in AI and deep learning. Hi Alex, it's really great to have you here. Hi, it's nice to be here too. So Alex, can you please give us a brief rundown on what deep learning is and uh, how it changes the world of business? Sure. Deep learning is a field of machine learning that basically allows machines and computers to understand information such as videos or uh, images or text uh, almost the same as humans do. Uh, this in turn allows uh, computers to, to be used in completely new tasks which were unimaginable before. For example, uh, ChatGPT helps businesses to automate tons and tons of processes, makes life easier. Uh, and there are other applications as well, uh, such as autonomous stores, self-driving cars, uh, and tons of simpler applications for everyday use. And uh, can you give us examples of these uh, everyday use applications, like real-life sure. examples? Uh, we at TensorWay are currently working at a solution which completely revolutionizes document extraction. Well, uh, what is it about? How does it look? How does it work? I want to know everything. Uh, well, there are two words, data extraction, uh, but in a more complex sense, uh, our approach is completely different to existing ones. You may have heard of optical character recognition well, or OCR. Yeah, sounds familiar and doesn't really sound new. Uh, yeah, OCR is not new. Uh, but it has uh, lots of issues. Firstly, OCR models are not that accurate. They make errors pretty often. Uh, but more importantly, uh, if you want to build some uh, automation pipeline to extract uh, information from different documents and different layouts and in different languages, OCR is really problematic because mm -hmm. it just extracts raw text and this does not understand uh, what fields it needs to extract, uh, what, how to choose those fields. So if you use such a system, you need to write uh, lots of post-processing scripts and there is no guarantee that it will work. And uh, how do you make your model work? How is it different, like technically? Uh, our solution is fundamentally different because instead of extracting just raw text, it extracts fields that uh, it is asked to extract. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if we have um, some financial document, we would extract, we would like to extract like uh, some of the invoice or goods mentioned in those invoices. And uh, you would just, the model would just uh, extract them and ignore all other text. Well, sounds quite impressive, but uh, you have some demo to show us, don't you? Uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the demo. Let's do it. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Um, uh -huh. So let's start with some simple example. Uh, first, I'll talk a little bit about this version of the demo and what is it about. Uh, so um, we developed this model for a client uh, which works with invoices. Uh, in this scenario, uh, there are two companies. One company issues invoice to another company. Uh, this first company is a vendor or a seller, and the second company is a debtor or a buyer. And um, we are interested in fields related uh, to the debtor. Uh, such as company name, we need to understand uh, which country is this company from, uh, it's, we need to know its registration number, we need to know some details of the invoice, we need to know invoice sum, uh, but ultimately our approach uh, can be used to extract any fields from any types of documents uh, in any uh, domain, so it can be fintech, it can be insurance tech, it can be government tech, etc. Okay, so, so now do something, let's please. Let's go back to our I want invoices. to know the data. So here Why? the task is to extract uh, details of the data and you can see that it correctly identified uh, its name, its registration number, country, invoice number and some other fields as well. And it did uh, that in uh, 0 0.33 seconds. 
Yes, it works extremely fast. Uh, our model, this, it's it's actually it works faster than OCR and it's lighter than OCR, and that's also a huge advantage of our approach. And what do you mean by lighter than OCR? Uh, our model weights less. Uh, it takes uh, less resources uh, for predictions, uh, and so yeah, it's 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 just it's just computationally easily easier. Right, and uh, well, yeah, I just checked, and everything is. Correct. Well, uh, but judging by only English documents is not completely fair. Uh, what about some other languages? No problem. Uh, here is a document in Latvian. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that it's yeah. slightly different structure. It's completely different language. So the fields uh, don't... Uh, well, they, they, they are not uh, in English. They're named completely differently. Uh, we are here interested in this uh, second company. Let's mm -hmm. see what the model will uh, extract for us. Uh, so yeah, you can see that uh, company name, registration number, country, all were taken correctly. And even faster than in the first case. Wow. Yes, and even a little well, faster than in the first. And uh, but the. Document layouts are pretty similar, you know? What about some more different layout, something more non-standard, non-typical? Yeah, let's try Let's try another layout. Uh, you can oh, see yeah. here that Doesn't the document the same. It's, it's different. Uh, also, it's in English with some Latvian address here. And what's more interesting is that uh, the debtor and the buyer uh, and, the, 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 and the issuer are, are not, uh, uh, like, there is no way uh, you can tell which one is which, even for humans sometimes it will be hard. Uh, but uh, our model uh, during training saw um, thousands of such documents and uh, it knows that we need uh, this company. It knows that typically an issuer uh, writes information about itself uh, at the top. So let's see whether our model will be able to extract information about this company. So yeah, you can see that the data name was extracted correctly. Yes, it has. Well, I'm truly amazed. And uh, But scans are just a small part of the job that people are doing. Sometimes they do photos. And can your model handle photos? Uh, sure, let's try some photos. Let's start with some simple example. Well, it's not actually that simple. Um, yeah. There's has something in his, the background. Yes, yes, it has another document here. Uh, and with photos, it's generally problematic, not only that they're photos, but that people rarely take them in perfect conditions. They often rotate those photos. Uh, there are distortions. Uh, there are um, some other documents, uh, lighting is uh, sometimes strange. So, yeah, enough talking. Let's try to extract the fields. Even faster than uh, the document. Yeah, yeah. And accurate as well. Accurate as well. And uh, if this case is simple, which one is more complex? Uh, well, let's start with slightly more complex case. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see that there are much more distortions. Yeah, and the letters are barely readable. Yeah, yeah, barely readable for us, but not for the model. Let's try extracting okay. the fields. Well, the same uh, around 0 0.3 seconds. And well, accurate. Quite impressive. And uh, anything else? Anything even more complex? Yeah, we have a case which for an OCR system is completely unsolvable. Uh, sometimes people take a photo of one document in the foreground of another. For example, here you can see that there are two different invoice numbers and OCR system could extract those numbers, but it, there is no way it could distinguish between them and understand uh, which number should, should it use. Oh well, yeah, and the languages are different. The languages are different as well. So as you can okay. see, our well, model extracted the fields correctly. Um, and that's all because uh, in comparison to OCR, our solution has a uh, much better understanding of spatial relations between uh, different fields and can understand uh, which document it should an uh, analyze uh, first. 
Well, yeah, not a single error again. Yeah, um, yeah, it's so, amazing. Yeah, that's really amazing, and uh, I don't, I, can, I, I don't know if you can see, but I'm really impressed. It's just boiling inside of me. So, thank you very much for showing this. And where do you see the model going in the future? Thank you. Um, I think the future for this model and for similar solutions is really bright. Uh, because uh, this approach can revolutionize document extraction in different fields. Uh, for example, analyzing medical documents, analyzing um, documents in the insurance industry. Um, uh, it can also uh, be applied to fintech, to some government and non-government organization, which have lots of flows where they require document extraction. Uh, basically, our solution can be applied in any field. Okay, so basically any person that has a business, uh, wants to start a business, they can come to you and just uh, ask whether they can use this model. Uh, yes, uh, the only thing we would need is to know your specific case. We would no like to know which fields we have to extract. And uh, basically we could adopt the model to be used in your case. Well, that's uh, good to know. And uh, I hope that uh, as many people as possible will be using this model because it can really, really help um, do things faster. And uh, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And that's it as for the first episode of the AI for Business series. Thank you for watching it till the end. Hope you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and see you in next videos. Bye.